Welcome to Meet the Beat. Today we will share with you how to make homemade aioli. Aioli is an essential condiment for any tapas, so continue watching if you want to learn how to make it. We will use some smoked paprika, some cayenne pepper, some sea salt, and some fresh garlic, some apple cider vinegar, a fresh organic egg yolk, and a teaspoon of mustard, and of course, some of the oil that will be combining the egg yolk with all the other ingredients. We start by whisking the egg yolk with uh, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and one teaspoon of mustard. Whisk it up nicely so that it's blended and combined well. And then we will actually start adding in the neutral flavored oil. We use a canola oil. You can use whatever you have that is neutral oil. And remember to pour in a very uh, little bit in the beginning. It's very important that you make sure that the egg yolk won't separate from the oil when it uh, is poured into it. So just be very, very careful and steady in the beginning. Don't pour in too much at a time. And then as you can see here, after a little while, you can start adding more oil at a time because you've already combined the two faces so that they are uh, an even mixture. We use two and a half deciliter of oil for one egg yolk. You can pour in more oil if you want a thinner mayonnaise or aioli. This uh, aioli, the name aioli actually means that it's a mayonnaise with garlic in it. I is um, garlic in French for instance, so it's kind of obvious. We pour in a little bit of water here. It's kind of a nice trick if you want your mayonnaise to go a little more white. That's just a trick for you. And now we add in two big cloves of uh, fresh garlic. So now we make our mayonnaise into an aioli. And you just uh, mix that well into the, into the mayonnaise. And then you add half a teaspoon uh, or so of cayenne pepper and you add in the same amount of smoked paprika. And a nice pinch of sea salt. Remember to taste your um, your aioli so that you know if you've poured in enough sea salt. And then you serve it in a nice mason jar or whatever you have on hand. And it's perfect to go with uh, your tapas, your patatas bravas or whatever you like to eat as tapas. Thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to Meet the Beat here and on Instagram as well. Thank you.